Warning kids, ColourPop packaging is dangerous business. I caught myself opening ColourPop packaging. It's firm. Yeah. What lessons did we learn from last video? We learned not to put um, eyeliner, gel eyeliner on your knuckles because you will never get that off. Like I rubbed my knuckles raw. Look how red my, you probably can't even see it. My hand is so red. I still have LA Splash Cosmetics lipsticks on me. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so ColourPop gel liner, which is the thing that we're going to talk about today. Holy hell, does that just lock the hell on? So, this is a cursing video involving cursing because I cut myself and I had to scrub my knuckles raw. Just a minute ago. That was awesome. Okay, so what are we talking about here? We are talking about ColourPop gel liners. Um, I got a bunch of them. I wanted to show you. They are locked down as like holy heck when you get them. So you're gonna have to be like, Rrr. I think you probably saw in my last video where I was like trying to open one. I was like, dude, that's actually how tight you should keep them shut <laughs> because um, they will dry out like any gel liner. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna start swatching for you. Um, this one is called Get Paid. Um, it's a cream colored gel. These all are. Um, I went for these rather than the um, pencil version and there's no reason for that like I like a brush uh, it's easy to get a sharp line with a brush oh that's so pretty that is get paid um, this next one is called call me which makes me think of that 70s song call me um, okay so this is brown mm, this weird inkling that has like a purple base I sort of smudged it out a little bit, but that's the color right there. Beautiful. This one is overboard. And every like two minutes I'm gonna have to like clean my hands off. Oh, that's pretty too. That is overboard. That's call me. And the first one is get paid. Let me get out a wipe, which I will be doing for the remainder of this video. Hope you guys enjoy watching me wipe my hands, because that's what's going to happen. Okay. We have Dirty Talk, which is a beautiful gold color. These are so lovely. Like, I would use these as shadow bases, too, because they will not come off your eyeballs, believe me. Look at that. Do you see the shine on that? Holy balls. I would put that all over my eye. And it's counterpart kicker, which is silver. And just as crazy. Just as crazy. That silver and that gold. So we got um, kicker is the silver and dirty talk is the gold. All right, what else we got? We got best O, which looks brown. Let's see if it's actually brown. Hmm, it's like a, what do I want to call this, like, oh, that was scary, burnt plum. Okay, that is best O. And the last in the brown category is somber, which looks legitimately brown, like brownie brown brown. And it is. It's a totally different brown than all the other browns, though. This is like how I talk to my husband. It's a totally different color of pink than that. I know that all those lipsticks look like the same lipstick to you, but they are totally not the same lipstick, honey. Like, you're like colorblind. It's a boy thing. Like, I don't even know. That's how it goes down. <laughs> He's like, don't you already or order that? Or don't you order? Don't you already order that? Don't you already own that? And I'm like, no, I don't own that same color, which is exactly like Rebel 400 times. I don't really own that same color like 400 times. Okay. This one is called Workout, and it is a deep forest green. Oh, that's beautiful. And again, in the green category, we have Fast Lane. This looks like teal. Yep. Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. Yes. I'm just like, yes. I like Jacqueline Hill here. Yes. 
We have Piggy Bank, which is, oh, we're getting to the last four, which are the four, like, neon colors. Yeah. That purple, it's Piggy Bank. You guys, these are amazing. They're soft, they're creamy, they're, like, 100% gel liners. Um, they stick like a mofo. Like, my fingertips, just in this short amount of time, are already dyed. Like, yeah. This neon orange is called Puppy. I'm super pumped about this one. Oh, I just got green in my orange. Ugh. Alright, let's see if I can swatch this effectively. Mm -mm. I got green in my orange. Alright. That is Puppy. That is some neon orange uh, eyeliner for you there. If you're ever looking for a neon orange eyeliner, eyeliner, gel eyeliner, this is the stuff for you. Um, I think these are six dollars. There may be five, but I think they're six. Um, they could be, and I don't think they are, up to eight, because that is the most expensive thing that Colourpop has, but I think they're six. Um, this one is called Punch, and it is neon yellow. Let's do this. I need to get a little bit more. My finger doesn't fit in that hole. Yeah. Like, neon, neon, neon. Um, super opaque, super easy to work with. Um, I find these uh, delightful. I can't say enough about them. I like gel liners kind of the best. I have an eyeliner thing. I have a whole slew of eyeliners for those of you who don't, don't know already. Um, I'm kind of an eyeliner junkie, even though it doesn't look like I'm wearing any eyeliner because I'm not. <laughs> um, oh yeah. This one is Boots, and it is the last one, and it is the brightest of bright pinks. So we got a whole bunch of neutrals and metallics up here for you. And then working our way into the crazy colors. Anyway, I love a gel eyeliner because I like an eyeliner brush to get a sharp point. Um, it's a lot easier to use for me than a pencil. I mean, a pencil on the bottom is great, don't get me wrong, but the top line, mm, I like a gel. So these are my bag. These also come same exact colors in pencils, pencil format. Um, not really pencil, it's like a spin up solid version of gel. Does that make sense? <laughs> it's like a pencil gel liner. Um, yeah. So you can get all of these. I think they're five bucks. Um, these are in the permanent line. You can get them whenever you want. Um, I can't say enough good things about them. I like almost everything Colourpop does. Like, I, they have not steered me wrong ever. Like, I haven't even gotten anything from them that I'm like, I'll never use that. No, everything is beautiful. <laughs> even like the bright purple blush, which I'm like, no, that's definitely gonna be an eyeshadow. It's still a great eyeshadow. So, uh, luckily all their formulas are very similar to each other, so you can mix and match what you want to use things for. Um, like these are eyeliners, um, you could totally use them as a base color. Let me just recommend to you that if you're going to use one of these crazy colors or one of these very dark colors over here, I would put down a primer first and make sure uh, that you have some oil cleanser on you, because that's the only way that's going to come off, and you better expect that your eyelids are going to be dyed, because my hand is going to be dyed from this. In fact, I should stop filming today, because I'm going to have so much dye on my hand from liquid lipsticks and from these ColourPop items. Holy cow. Anyway, um, they might dye your eyelids a little bit on the line if you use it as a liner, so just expect that you're going to have to you know, oil cleanser them off, or use a lot of the dual phase cleanser that's actually got a lot of oil in it too, and it's great for taking off this stuff because it will actually come off. Um, but your eyelids may be a little tinged, just so you know. But it's locked on there. It's not going anywhere. You can go out for a full day with this stuff on. It's not budging. Don't worry about that. Uh, anyway, I hope that this was helpful and informative. Um, let me know if you guys have these. Let me know what you think about them. Do you like them? Do you hate them? I don't know. My eyelids are kind of normal, um, possibly a little bit oily, and this stuff still works great for them. So, anyway, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time.